Okay, so Coach, your road trip wraps up here tonight. Uh, what do you um, anticipate as far as uh, your team's production is concerned? Well, I think we'll be fine. I think uh, JBD is going to come in, give us a hand there. We're, we're uh, hopeful Joseph could go tonight. That as well will give us a little bit of jump on the in the bottom six there. Um, and we're going to juggle some things up front uh, as to the top six and hope we can get a bit of a spark. I think this is game 10 for JBD. And you said when he got sent down that you've seen progress from, from his development. Yeah, for sure. He's taken huge steps between last year and this year. Uh, every time he comes up, he's a little bit better. Um, and eventually he's going to come up and he'll stick and uh, you know, be a good NHL player. And that's part of development. And let's hope this is the time. What makes him, like when he's, when he's doing well, what makes him good? He's good defensively. He can make a first pass. He can also get pucks in the net offensively. I think, you know, uh, defending, you know, is, is, is always been one of his strengths. But I think one of the things that, that we lack at times is being able to get pucks to the net offensively so we can tip pucks. And, and, you know, as a D, getting them through is a skill, and I think he's got that skill. What do you anticipate of the St. Louis team tonight? Uh, they're big, heavy. The back end's big. Um, you know, they're not going to let you get to the net easily. They're an older team. Um, you know, they're scrap, uh, scratching and clawing just like we are for points. So I think you're going to see a good hard fought game. And one of the things you, you have generally seen from your team is a good bounce back. Yeah, for sure. I think we park it pretty good. I, uh, you know, whether it's a real bad loss like the last one or, or uh, um, you know, you're losing 3 2 and you got to change something, we're usually pretty good at, at turning the page. So we'll see tonight, but I would assume we're going to be uh, playing real well. How long do you anticipate Zub being out, uh, DJ? That I don't know. Um, haven't had an update on it. We'll see when we get back to Ottawa. And just on, uh, you, you mentioned yesterday that Josh Norris is close. Um, will that be kind of a, would Wednesday be kind of a game this time decision if he's going to play that? Uh, I don't know if it'll be Wednesday, but I mean, we'll uh, we'll see, you know, how he, he's going to skate again today. We'll see how he is. Um, and uh, we'll make a decision from there. But, uh, you know, it's a touch-and-go timeline. Uh, we're going to make sure he's 100%. We'll talk to our doctors when we get back, and we'll see what happens. Um, just on uh, uh, getting Joseph back, you know, to speed. And well, he's played He's played in a Stanley Cup final. He's played in, in, in yeah. big games. He's, he can handle playing every night, um, you know, the – He's a guy in the bottom six that can provide some offense, can also move up in a, in a top six role as well if, if we need to shake things up up there. So um, I look forward to having him back. And just to sort of circle back on the nice, if, if you get him back, you'll ease him into it, right? Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. He'll you know, probably put him with a guy like Drew that can take face-offs for him so it doesn't have to put a ton of uh, uh, pressure on himself you know, to get in there and really reef on it. Um, so we'll, we'll look at those kind of things, and we'll, we'll see how he is. But his conditioning superb and always has been, so um, that won't be an issue. Today's world of travel, i got to ask you how your travel was getting here. Did everything go okay? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty easy. Uh, okay. Jordan set it up for me, and him and Freddie do a good job, so it's uh, you know, not much I had to worry about on my end. Okay, not much to worry about going into tonight's game. How's your confidence level at, uh, at this level? Yeah, it's good, I think. Obviously, I know what to expect here now, and... Um, you know, going down to Belleville, I think every time I just try to take a little step coming back up, and, you know, that's my goal this time is to be even better than I was last time. The coach said, and he's probably told you this as well, maybe not, but he did say publicly that when he did see you last, when he did get sent down, he said that there has been marked improvement in your NHL game. Yeah, like I said, that's that's the goal, and, um, you know, every time you get called up, the, the goal is to try and stick here, so uh, it's no different this time, and obviously it's unfortunate with Zuby getting injured, and I never want to see that, but for me, it's just an opportunity to try and take that next step. How does your confidence grow with each time that you get called up? <clears throat> yeah, I, I think you become more familiar with, with the systems and stuff like that. And then, you know, in Belleville, I'm getting a little bit more playing time, so I'm getting those reps and, um, you know, maybe feeling the puck a little bit more. And, um, you know, like that grows my confidence that way, too. I mean, you're, the key for you is just to keep it simple, right? <clears throat> yeah, for sure. I think. My game revolves around just being kind of steady and um, trying to provide as much consistency as I can on the back end. And um, yeah, I think uh, use use my skating and um, move pucks and, and just keep it simple. Yeah, for sure. You expect everything forgotten from Saturday night, and it's move on from that. Yeah, you have to. I think uh, obviously not the effort we wanted, but you know it's in the past now. We got to worry about tonight, so that's all we could uh, worry about. So in preparing for tonight's game. Um, how much is dealt with when you're looking at a game like Saturday nights? I know you want to flush a lot of it, but also have to learn from it. 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, you know, we didn't watch too much video on it because we didn't want to be too negative, uh, you know, the last couple of days. But obviously there's a lot to learn from, uh, you know, just being better in the neutral zone, not turning pucks over, and uh, just being better defensively, I think. Um, we got to learn from that and just uh, just be better tonight. That's all we could do and uh, put forward a good effort. Well, one thing this team has been good, pretty good at, though, Shane is bouncing back, yep. hasn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, we respond pretty well when we have a tough game, and um, that just, you know, shows the guys in the room uh, who we are and uh, kind of our leadership. They get us ready to play, uh, you know, when we have a tough one, and um, yeah, it's a credit to our leadership, guys. They always uh, make sure we're ready to play that next one, so. DJ said yesterday and repeated again today that uh, Josh Norris is closing in on a return. No exact timeline, but sometime pretty soon here. What would it mean to get him back? I mean, it's massive. Uh, he plays in all situations. Um, and it just creates depth for us. I think, uh, you know, he's a top centerman. You can't really replace those. So those are hard to find. And to get that kind of player back will be huge for us. And uh, um, we can't wait. You know, we're, he's obviously one of our best players. So we can't wait to have him back. It, it would create, um, like you said, more depth, right? And, yeah, more and, balance. And, and yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... Um, and he's a 35 goal scorer, so those are hard to find in this league. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be huge for us. We're excited to get him back. On that same note, with Matthew Joseph possibly returning tonight, what kind of a boost does that provide the lineup? Yeah, I mean another. I mean, it's just a great player. I think uh, it's kind of undercover how good of a player he is. He's just so fast and so good at forechecking and um, defensively too. I think that's one of his strong suits. And you know, obviously last game we struggled, and um, hopefully uh, we get him back today. And he plays well defensively, but. Um, I think it's kind of undercover how, uh, how good he is, how fast he is, and uh, how good defensively he is. So it's uh, good to have him back.